This is a satirical skit that explores how some music industry practices perpetuate negative stereotypes related to Black women in rap slash hip hop music and the potential impacts on impressionable young audiences. They allegedly recruit the most degenerate Black female rappers so they can destroy the Black woman's image and also negatively influence vulnerable Black girls. This skit includes three music industry executives, Ratchet Hood rapper Miss Magenta, because of her hair color, and her manager, Sellout Tavius. Miss Magenta is about to become the next industry plant. Okay, let's get this meeting started. Today, Sellout Tavius will be presenting us with a new artist. He said she checks all of the boxes. Is she ratchet and low class? The ratchetest of the ratchet. Will she help us in our goal to prevent black women from upstaging white women? Absolutely. She's all of that and more. You guys know how when one black woman does something that's considered to be degenerate or low-class behavior, all of them have to share that label? Yeah. Sure. Sucks for them. They don't get to be individuals like us. If a white woman does something crazy, she's just a crazy Karen. No one looks at me and automatically assumes I'm a Karen based on some random woman's behavior. But not black women. I always see comments on X, formerly Twitter, about black women's bad behavior. The collective has to suffer based on one woman's behavior. But to be honest, I've worked with black women for years, and they've all been extremely professional. In fact, I'm deeply intimidated by a lot of them. They always seem to have everything together. They make me feel insecure while also keeping me on my toes. But it's a good thing that we can use the bad apples to spoil the whole bunch. Am I right? If we don't keep our feet on their necks, they'll surpass us. We can't have that. Well, that's why we hired Sell Tavius Firm to help us find someone to help us. If someone questions our motives, we can always blame him. And they'll focus on the fact that he's one of them and forget all about us. Also, Sell Tavius said something about black men also benefiting from this. He said that if black women aren't held back, a lot of black men wouldn't have access to women because they cannot compete with other men who have more resources. He said this is necessary to ensure that there will always be enough black women who are basically trapped with black men. He said women like Miss Magenta basically tell young and naive women that her behavior is empowering. They then emulate women like her and end up in a position where they're not able to raise their standards. Also, he said something about some guys named Pookie being released from jail. He said a lot of the women who are influenced by women like Miss Magenta basically end up taking in the pookies when they're released. They take out the trash. They get those guys off the streets so civilized people can live in peace. They give them a place to stay, food to eat, and everything else. They then go on to create children with the pookies, and their children end up in the legal system because they're not the best parents. Let's face it. What kind of woman thinks having a child with a pookie is acceptable? One who isn't too bright, that's who. Then the pookie moves on to other women who are just like her. They create more children. And our society gets more people who keep law enforcement officers, social workers, judges, prison employees, and others employed. So, these hood women benefit everyone. Well, that's none of our business. Actually, that's exactly our business. Oh, that's right. It is. LOL. I see what you did there. I can't believe we got away with that whole Katie Cosmetics campaign. She's practically a billionaire because she enhanced her lips and sold lip gloss to a bunch of suckers. Easiest money we ever made. It's so easy to make money off these people. Right. That was some easy money. People are so gullible. Our whole campaign was solid gold. I put my son through Harvard off that check. Ridicule those who have those features naturally and then promote someone who had to enhance their lips. They ate it up. We can't have them profiting from their highly sought-after features. That would be disastrous for us. We must keep gaslighting them. Sell out Tavius is here with the artist. Let's get started. I would like to thank you all for this opportunity. Let's cut to the chase. So, you all asked me to find a certain type of artist for you, and I think I have found the perfect one. Her name is Miss Magenta. Yes, we're very familiar with her work. Work? I guess we can call it that. Anyway, here she is. Miss Magenta, these are the people who are going to make us. I mean, you, Rich. What's up, y'all? Hey, Becky, what's up, girl? I like that suit, girl. You look like money. It's actually Jennifer. Oh, my bad. Jenny from the block. What's up, girl? Whatever. Miss Magenta, did Sellout Tavius explain what's going on here? 
Basically, old boy said, y'all don't really care about no talent, although I am talented, feel me. But he said y'all are looking for somebody who can influence young black girls, especially the ones that don't have no good parents or other role models, right? That's right, for the most part. We have seen your social media videos. I especially like that one song that you have called, Ain't Nothing Wrong With A Train Girl, Do You Thang Girl Choo Choo. Yeah, that's my best song. Have you heard You A Lame If You Get Straight A's? No, tell us more about it. Well, see, where I'm from, if you smart, you get targeted. We don't like no egghead MFs where I'm from, so if you smart, you better play dumb. I'm working on a new song called Ten Children and Ten Baby Daddies. Tell us more about that one. It's self-complanatory. Self-explanatory? Yeah, Becky, that's what I said. It's not... Never mind. So you're basically promoting having a large family. Exactly. See, you get me. Back in the day, my great-great-grandmother had 22 kids. Wow, with how many men? Just one, my great-great-grandpa. But I'm trying to let the girls know that they can do whatever they want to do with whoever they want to do. Know what I'm saying? I like the way you think. What else are you working on? Wait a minute, hold up. Y'all asking all these questions, but ain't nobody said nothing about my money. Where's the bag you promised me, sell out Tavius? Hey Bill, where's that bag? Let's sign these contracts first and then we'll talk about money. Word. Did you bring your lawyer? Sellout Tavius said I don't need to worry about any of that. He said y'all would hook me up. That's absolutely right. We're about to hook you up and you're about to help us create more black women who are just like you. Aren't you excited about that? Bruh, I do not care about none of that. Just run me my bag. I need to buy my mama a house. She about to get evicted as we speak. As long as you help us with our agenda, you'll be able to buy whatever you want. Here's your contract. I don't need to read all of this. Just show me where to sign and hand me my bag. What are your thoughts on this skit? Let us know in the comments, and if you like this content, be sure to like this video and subscribe or follow. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself.